This is the Darwin Archive in the University Library. Uh, it contains all of Darwin's surviving scientific books and articles. It contains manuscripts and drafts of many of his published works and about 8,000 letters uh, that he wrote to and from uh, various correspondents. Uh, and these are the materials that we use in editing the letters. Um, and the books are extremely valuable to us because they contain uh, his own annotations and we can often try to decipher, you know, what, what he was thinking about a particular passage, say in Lyle's Principles of Geology, uh, or in Malthus's Essay on Population. Um, and further down, we have uh, all this manuscript material, which is organized, for the most part, according to different research topics and books that Darwin is working on. We're going to look at a letter from a correspondent named Edward Blythe, and he's, um, he was based in India for many years, and he was extremely valuable to Darwin for his vast knowledge of uh, animals uh, all over the world, really. And I think it's the record for the worst handwriting. And you can see that just in this one page, it's, it's already cut up into two sheets. And it's part of a selection of notes on sexual selection in mammals. So this is material that Darwin is gathering starting around 1868 on sexual selection with a view to publishing um, work that eventually comes out in Descent of Man. Another part of the letter, it turns out, is in a completely different place. This group of material is about origin of species. And the last section of the letter is even more interesting because it's actually pasted on to another letter, which was Darwin's reply to Blythe. And on the other side, we have this tiny little fragment from that long letter of Blythe. So what we have to do as editors is work from all of these pieces, which we've identified uh, as Blythe's because of the bad handwriting, for the most part. It's, it's extremely recognizable uh, once we've worked here long enough. Um, and then looking at the actual shape of the cutout, the size of it, um, putting together the different fragments into a continuous letter.